Hey, you remember that time uh, yesterday when I told you that uh, I wanted to drop a video to tell you something I'm very excited about? Well, here it is. All right, so during this shutdown, I've had the opportunity to kind of evaluate our website and what I desired to do was to get one that is as simple as possible for people to use because we want to get the most information out. So on buckcreekbc.com, uh, this is our brand new website. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, we have our our news and information. You can quickly check out our newsletter. It's updated every Thursday. Prayer requests. This is so simple. Clicking on this button will allow it to bring you to a form. You could quickly fill that out, hit send, and uh, we will get this uh, per request. Um, and then, of course, we have the videos. Um, these videos are really helpful uh, as not only do we do our Sunday night, our Sunday morning and Wednesday night uh, Bible studies, uh, and you could just click on there and boom, you're already at the uh, Sunday night or Wednesday night event. But then anything we've done in the past, the latest message, of course, Easter, and then, of course, any series are down here so simple. But here's the thing I wanted to show you. Uh, of course, you know, there's events, all this prayer resources. Please take a few moments to look at our website. But this is what I'm excited about. All right. So as we go through our website, we have our opportunities to uh, events, sermons, and give. Uh, here we go. We have an app, uh, Buck Creek, and you could download this app uh, on any device. All right. Currently, we have Apple. Uh, so your iPhones, we have the Google, so uh, your Android, and any day now, we're going to have an Amazon app for uh, if you have Kindle Fire, all right? You can download that app. Uh, it gives you the options that are available to you, all right? So let's go to my phone. All right. Um, uh, this is uh, my phone here, and I just want to show you how you could download the app and show you some of the cool features that are on our app. Um, so... Currently, I'm using an iPhone. Well, because I'm smart. No, <laughs> no. If you're using an Android device, that is absolutely fine. Go to Google Play or however you download your apps on um, um, Android. All right. So I go to my uh, app store. I click in Buck Creek. Look at that. Buck Creek Baptist Church comes up. There we are, right there at the top. Uh, I'm going to download that. It may take a few moments. Uh, because there's so much action-packed stuff in our app. All right, as that downloads, I get to show you the cool things that are inside it. I'm going to click open. Look at that. It's going to ask for notifications. Allow notifications. That way, uh, we can send you things throughout the week. We don't want to overwhelm you, but man, we want to give you the information quick uh, as possible. So click allow. It's going to say allow while in use. Absolutely, you want to do that. Allow while in while using your app. Absolutely. In a few hours or maybe a day or two, if you click on it again, it may say, would you like to have notifications uh, always? Okay, not just when the app is open. Yes. Okay, click yes to that. Again, we're not going to overwhelm you, but you're going to be able to get the information first. All right, so allow notifications always. Okay, all right, so let's look at our app real quick, man. I am so excited about this. Um, let me just show you a few of the features that we have. Uh, looking at these squares, we have a welcome for someone who's new. It tells us uh, a lot about our church in one page. And then it gives them the opportunity to contact us if they want to visit our church. Uh, what a great uh, way for us to connect with guests. Another one is prayer requests, similar to our website, but this is in your pocket. Uh, you can click on our prayer request page and send it to us as prayers come out throughout your day. So what a great opportunity for us to pray with you on a consistent basis. And then sermon notes. A lot of y'all want to take sermon notes. Listen, the sermon notes will be available at the time of the sermon that will be happening on Sunday mornings. So you click on sermon notes. Um, the last one we had, of course, was Easter. So there it is. Here's our Easter uh, notes. Now, clearly I say a lot of notes uh, whenever I preach. Um, so you may be thinking, how do I get these notes on a hard copy? I'm glad you asked. On the bottom of the page is the opportunity for you to email it to yourself. And so, yeehaw, there's your notes. And then, of course, there's an opportunity to give right on here. Uh, there's a new giving format we're going to be introducing in the next few weeks uh, from Subsplash, which 
uh, is extremely safe and it's very cost effective. A lot more contemporary than the one we currently use, but if you're currently using the e-giving that we're doing now on our website, man, that's, a, that's fine. Uh, we'll walk through that. But new giving opportunity available for us that's going to save us a lot of money in transaction fees. So we'll talk more about that later, but here's a great giving option. How about online bulletin? This will give you the opportunity uh, before Sunday to see our bulletin and the events that are going on. Currently, because of the COVID-19, we don't have many activities. So if you click on that, you're going to get what we send to everybody um, in the mail. All right. So, for example, this week, you know, there's a little blurb about me and about this app. So that's available to you in the online bulletin. Small groups. If you want to get connected to a small group, you're new to the church, you, you click what is a small group. That site will walk you through uh, basically what goes on in a small group, what to expect, and then if you have any more questions, you can, you can contact Kenny McDowell directly. Oh, I'm so pumped about that. But what about those who are already in small group? We have a small group study that we'll be having every year for you. Uh, you can click notes right here. And on the notes, it'll have passages for personal study. Now, obviously, there'll be more of this uh, whenever the new year starts. But that gives you an opportunity to look at the passage beforehand, before you go into the small group, and to be prepared uh, for the discussions. Uh, so let's go back to the front. We have uh, follow us. This gives you the opportunity to link up to all of our social media outlets. Um, you can click the Buck Creek on the bottom and get you right to this page. And of course, contact information for you to contact the church. Listen, we're wanting to get as much information in your hands as possible. But look on the bottom here. We got some other great things. How about sermons? All of our sermons are available on Google Play, Podcasts, or iTunes. But you can also go right here to our messages. You can click on a message. Uh, and whenever you click on it, you can immediately watch or listen to the message that's going on. So, uh, oh, I'm so pumped. And look at that, even a Bible app, all right? Uh, we can do a reading plan that we can connect with as a church, or you can go straight to the Bible. And you could look up a passage of Scripture right from your pocket. And then, oops, I uh, lost my app. There we go. Um, and then finally, we have an events page on the bottom, and the events this, whenever we actually have events uh, outside of the, of the virus that we're dealing with, uh, there'll be some events that are available for you to click on and gives you information about each event. So uh, this is our app. I, we're going to add a lot more stuff to it, but man, this is a great way for us to start connecting to each other immediately. Uh, well, listen, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope that you download the app and you accept the notifications. And if there's anything you want added to this app, you let me know. Uh, connect with us, all right? All right, this video is just about to end in a few seconds. So if you don't have your phone, then grab it now and start downloading that app. Have a great day. Uh, I'll see you Sunday. Well, kind of, sort of. Bye.